Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Earth Living. Thank you so much for stopping by to this channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe and be part of the Global Earth family. And thank you so much, my returning subscribers, for being part of this channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a certain type of cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma. Uh, according to the American Cancer Society, a Kaposi sarcoma is a kind of cancer that develops from the cell that line the leaf and the blood vessels. A Kaposi sarcoma uh, normally manifests itself uh, in form of tumors on or under the skin. And it can also appear uh, on mucosal surfaces and membranes that line the mouth, nose, throat, and anus. However, these tumors can also grow in other parts of the body, uh, like the lymph nodes. Uh, the lymph nodes are the bean sized collection of the immune cells uh, throughout the body, uh, the lungs, or the digestive tract. So, uh, the abnormal cells of Kaposi's sarcoma form in the form of a lesion on the skin that appear to be a purple, red, it can also be like a brown patches or tumors on the skin. Uh, the Kaposi's sarcoma lesions uh, appear on the legs, our face, and the groin, and they can make the legs or the feet to swell painfully. Uh, Kaposi's sarcoma can be life-threatening or even cause a serious problem if the lesions get to the lungs, liver, or digestive tract, as it can cause uh, bleeding, whereas tumors in the lungs can result into breathing problems. Uh, and this is according to the American Cancer Society. So what causes Kaposi's sarcoma? As I've told you, uh, Kaposi's sarcoma is a kind of cancer caused by a virus called human herpes virus 8. In short, you can say HHV8. This human uh, herpes virus can also be called Kaposi's sarcoma's associated herpes virus, in short, which is a KSHV. Uh, a person can contract this virus through saliva and through mother-to-child during childbirth. Though human herpes virus uh, is common, not everyone who has it can get Kaposi sarcoma's cancer. In fact, herpes virus AIDS normally causes cancer in people who have a suppressed immune system. And this is because a weakened immune system uh, permits the herpes virus 8 to increase in the body, uh, which uh, increases the risk of getting Kaposi sarcoma's cancer. Uh, the virus also seems to change the genetic instructions that control the cell growth, uh, which means the cells uh, reproduce uncontrollably and form tumors. Uh, there are four types of Kaposi sarcoma's cancer and they are described depending on where it develops. However, the changes in the cells of Kaposi sarcoma cells are very similar, regardless of the type of Kaposi sarcoma one has. Uh, the number one type of Kaposi sarcoma is epidemic, which is AIDS-related uh, Kaposi sarcoma cancer. Uh, the second type of Kaposi sarcoma is called classic, which is a Mediterranean type of uh, Kaposi sarcoma cancer. Uh, the third one is called endemic Kaposi sarcoma, and this is mostly in Africa. And the fourth type of uh, Kaposi sarcoma cancer is called the latrogenic, which is transplanted related type of uh, Kaposi sarcoma cancer. So when I talk about uh, the epidemic or AIDS-related Kaposi sarcoma, it mostly affects people who are infected with HIV, uh, the virus that causes uh, AIDS. And this is because uh, if 
HIV stays in the body for a long time and the person doesn't get enough treatment or proper treatment, HIV turns into AIDS and this can seriously damage the immune system, which results into certain other types of infections like the Kaposi sarcoma. The epidemic Kaposi sarcoma uh, is considered an AIDS uh, defining illness, meaning that it occurs in someone who is infected with HIV. On another hand, the endemic Kaposi sarcoma or the African Kaposi sarcoma uh, is a form of cancer that is found in people living in the equatorial Africa uh, because uh, Kaposi sarcoma associated apis virus infection is much more common uh, in Africa than in other parts of the world. So what are the signs and symptoms of Kaposi sarcoma cancer? Number one is skin changes. First, Kaposi sarcoma normally appears in the form of a bloat or bumps uh, known as lesions on the skin. Uh, the Kaposi sarcoma's lesions, as, like I said, can be a purple, red, brown, or even bluish and can be a flat, raised, or just flat above the surrounding skin. And the second sign and symptom of Kaposi sarcoma cancer is lesions in the mouth and the throat. Sarcoma's lesions can develop um, in the lining of certain parts uh, inside the body called the mucous membranes, like inside the mouth and throat and on the outside of the eyes or inner parts of the, of the eyelids. And the third sign of Kaposi sarcoma is uh, lung problems. And this is because uh, when the lesions develop in the lungs, they can block the part of the airways, hence causing shortness of breath. And also they can cause chest pain and they can also cause a uh, cough. And the fourth sign of Kaposi sarcoma cancer is tumors. Uh, actually, these tumors uh, can cause abdominal pain and diarrhea in case they develop in the, the stomach or intestines. Yeah, it's very important for you to note that these lesions or tumors uh, can appear in other parts of the body. Uh, the fifth sign of Kaposi sarcoma cancer is bleeding. If the lesions are in the stomach or intestines, it makes the bowel movements to become black and tarry or bloody. Bleeding uh, from the lesions in the stomach and in the intestines is usually slow and not visible in the stool or in the pool. But as time goes on, and this bleeding continues, it can actually develop into low red blood cells, which can cause someone to have anemia. So uh, bleeding is one of the signs of Kaposi sarcoma cancer. Um, another sign of Kaposi sarcoma is lymphatic obstruction. According to the Canadian Cancer Society, tumors in the lymph nodes uh, may block the flow of the lymph fluid, hence causing a, what we call lymphedema. Lymphatic obstruction, or call it lymphedema, involves blockage of the vessels which result into lymphatic fluid accumulation uh, in the intestinal tissues of the body, hence causing swelling in some parts of the body, such as the legs and the face. So those are some of the signs and symptoms of Kaposi sarcoma. How can one control a Kaposi sarcoma or how can one uh, prevent getting Kaposi sarcoma? Number one, uh, control being infected with HIV. Uh, this is because uh, a person infected with HIV has great risk of getting Kaposi sarcoma cancer uh, because uh, HIV when it develops into AIDS, uh, it damages the immune system and gives away for other infections like the herpes virus AIDS, which causes Kaposi sarcoma cancer in the long run. Uh, the second way to avoid getting Kaposi sarcoma cancer is to avoid unprotected sex. 
Avoiding unprotected sex helps you in so many ways. It helps you not to get infections like the human uh, herpes virus 8, in which one can get uh, Kaposi's sarcoma or other sexually transmitted infections. Another way to uh, reduce the risk of getting Kaposi's sarcoma is to take antiviral uh, drugs. This helps to reduce the risk uh, of contracting HIV. Another way is also to avoid contaminated needles. Uh, because HIV can be spread through contaminated needles, uh, it is very important to use clean needles always. You can as well reduce the risk of getting Kaposi's sarcoma uh, cancer uh, by treating infected pregnant mothers, but also taking uh, the right drugs and also treating yourself the apis virus if you infected. If you do that, uh, you'll be doing so well to reduce the risk of developing Kaposi's sarcoma cancer. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up comment and share and if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel and be part of this great mission to promote health thank you for watching